welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look for the NYX Face Awards. First I'm going to take this tape um, on my eye so I could have a nice eyeshadow application. Next taking Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics. I'm going to be applying this onto my eyelid. I'm going to do one eye at a time so one eye on camera and one eye off camera. Now I'm going to take um, this Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and take Coconut Cream and apply that all over my lid with this Sonia Kashuk brush. This was a limited edition brush. You can use any brush that you have or any powder you want. Next, taking this Mel Cosmetics Dark Matter Stack and I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Blur and this is going to be my transition shade and what that means is just going to help um, transition any shades that I'm going to apply on the lid. Next, taking Unseen from the same Dark Matter Stack. I'm going to take this underneath that um, transition shade just to give it a little bit more definition and I'm taking the Morphe M521 blending brush to apply that onto my crease. So it's going to be a transition. Next taking the shade Dark Matter from the Dark Matter stack from Melt Cosmetics and applying this with the Smashbox um, just flat shader brush and I'm going to go ahead and just apply this mess with it onto the lid. You don't have to apply it very nicely just because it's going to be a base for the shadow. This is the L'Oreal Infallible I think green navy eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this onto my lid. It's very nice, unique eyeshadow. I've never seen an eyeshadow like this in my life. So I had to use it for this video and I'm going to go ahead and just apply this with my finger because you do get um, better color payoff when you apply it with your finger. Next, taking the Sigma Wing Liner Brush, the E06 brush. I'm going to go ahead and apply my wing liner using the Inglot 77 Gel Liner. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I do to um, apply this liner onto my eye. Um, I'm just following the tape as a guide. Next, taking the um, shade Dark Matter from the Dark Matter stack from Out Cosmetics and just applying a little bit of this onto my crease just to help blend out that um, eyeshadow. Next, I use the Milani Cosmetics 02 um, foundation, the 2-in-1 foundation, and my camera had cut off the whole process. So I just apply that all over my face and using a damp beauty blender just to blend it all out all over my body. Next, taking this Becca Cosmetics Corrector, and I'm going to apply this underneath my eye. It helps correct my darkness and also kind of a base for my concealer. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger because I find it, it helps better just to blend it out because it is a little bit thick. So just blend it out, and next you're going to be applying your concealer. So for concealer, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla, and this is going to be my highlight. Since I did mention that the 02 foundation from Milani is a bit darker, it's going to help balance out my face. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply this in the areas where I want to brighten. So my eyes, underneath my eyes, uh, my forehead, my, the bridge of my nose, my upper lip, and my chin. I'm going to go ahead and take this damp beauty blender, the same one we use for foundation. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer. Um, you do want to blend it out nicely and evenly because if you don't blend it out, then it's not going to come out nice. So make sure that you blend it out everything underneath your eye, your forehead, chin area, um, your nose, everywhere that you apply that highlighter. And you're going to go ahead and just blend, blend, blend. Um, again, just to look seamless. Next, I'm taking this RCMA powder by Dit Depot it into this Laura Mercier powder, um, not powder, container. So I'm going to go ahead and use the RCMA powder and bake underneath my eye, my forehead, my nose, around my mouth, my chin. I did apply a lot around my mouth because that's where I tend to get like creasy. Also, um, besides the sides of my nose, I get a lot of like oiliness right there. So I, I, I like overbaked. Next, taking this mineralized skin finish powder in medium from MAC. And I'm going to go ahead and just blend this all over my face. And next, I'm taking this Glam Bronze by L'Oreal Cosmetics. This is a new product. And taking the 01 Light Pale with my Sigma angled brush and I'm going to go ahead and contour my face. This is a more like neutral um, contour shade. It doesn't have a lot of brown undertones to it. Um, this one in, in particular, the medium 02, is more orangey but it's super pigmented as you can see. I put a bit too much. Um, I just blended it out like a lot. But a little goes a long way with this product. Um, just dip your brush in once and you should be good to go. I, I like swirled it into the product thinking it was going to be like a little bit of product. But it was a lot. So so for lashes I use the Dodo Lashes in the style D105. My favorite. And using this mini blush. This is from the mini collection from Sephora. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto my cheeks with this Morphe brush. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Next taking this... Um, eyeliner and liquid lipstick from Kat Von D. 
This black liner is from Makeup Forever and you have to make sure to clean it first before you apply because I do use this underneath my eyes so clean it before you use it. I'm going to go ahead and outline my lip as well as kind of contouring. I want to contour the middle of my lips and like the out part, outside parts of my lip. Um, but I, I felt like I should have just filled it all in because it's a lipstick like I mentioned in my regrets video. It is very patchy. So so I would recommend you just blending it all in or you can even use, use that um, eyeliner as your liquid lipstick or like your lipstick so you don't necessarily have to use this liquid lipstick because I don't recommend it at all but again I have it so why not use it but um, yeah if you don't have this color it's totally fine you could just use that black eyeliner and like set it with the black eyeshadow and you should be good to go so just applying this liquid, liquid lipstick in the shade Witches from Kat Von D and I apply a lot of layers. I didn't like um, use use the uh, clips for it, but uh, I apply a lot of layers. So next, I'm using the same liner, cleaning in the back of my hand, and applying this underneath my eye as well as my lower lash line. So I do apply on my waterline, and then I slowly apply it into my lower lash line. There's people outside you screaming, Lord Jesus. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and smudge it with the Sigma smudge brush, and just smudging it, smudge, smudging it, and I'm um, just smudging it some more. Uh, you want this to be very smoky underneath your lash line, um, just for a very dramatic effect. And I'm not going to apply any black eyeshadow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And wish me luck for the next face awards. Oh, I'm so scared. Bye, guys. Mwah.